you guys, it's me, Kendall Fisher, here for Celeb Buzz, and I am with the one and only Farah Abraham. Thank you for being with me here. They, yeah, thanks for coming, <laughs> seriously. Now, you just released um, your first book of the erotic trilogy, yes. um, Celebrity Sex Tape. Yes, in the making. In it's the making, the first now. one. Yeah, it came so out yesterday. So are coming in. <laughs> Yay, good, that's yeah. awesome. Now, can you tell me, just give you know our viewers a little background to this and- Okay. Um, so it came about that I started writing this because of the pop culture phenomenon, I guess, with celebrity sex tape and my whole ordeal that I dealt with kind of rather publicly. Um, so I wanted, you know, I'm kind of therapeutic, as we've seen. I do a lot of therapy and counseling. So I thought it would be great for me to kind of vicariously live through a character that I create. And she does make a celebrity sex tape. And she gets wrapped up in a lot of things that are relatable to our lives from high school sweethearts to finding some guy in a big city and just different things that we go through in our sexual journeys and I think the hype and all the questioning about you know adult endeavors is kind of well spoken for in this book mm -hmm. and so I'm very excited I know it's fantasy and erotic and hot and heavy but it, I think it's like a best friend or you would take this as a template to let your imagination fly however it does. <laughs> well, exactly. And, I mean, we all saw how Fifty Shades of Grey did. Mm -hmm. Now, was that an inspiration a little bit in this and how well that that did? I mean, I'm very happy for erotic, you know, authors doing very well and successful. But I wanted to do something more edgier and more relatable in a way. Totally. So, and also more of a popular topic. And that's why I stayed true to myself and how I kind of am as a reality star. Now, uh, we see a lot of celebrities, you know, people in, in your shoes and um, going and doing these sex tapes. What would you say, like, what made you decide, you know? Uh, For me, it was different. You know, it was like, I've never done this. I kind of am like, I go through my ups and downs of sexual depression and whatnot. And I think it's hard for me because in the reality um, lifestyle that I was living, it was very much heavy on contraceptives and making the right choices. And I think that's so hard to do, even though you're told up and down. I think having like a relatable book or maybe um, a celebrity that you can be like friends with in a way, I'm saying I do still need to experience things. And even though good or bad, you need to live. Yeah. And it's hard to do that in the public eye. And mm -hmm. I realized that. So I don't know, maybe that's why others read fantasy books because, you know, there's the sexual content, there's the everyday content and the good and the bad choices. And I think um, that's what's good about these books. But for myself, we all go through our phases, like your early teen or late teens, early 20s. It's hard to do everything right. And everybody makes a sex tape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And yeah. now be wise, be careful. I know my girlfriends always are like, oh, he has it, not me. Watch out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you learn that yes, firsthand. I, I know. I'm not judging. <laughs> what will, what would you say to Sophia? If, if something like this, you know, you're, you're saying obviously live your own life and it's, it's, you know, not that it's easy, but we're older. And yes. like you said, we all make decisions, sometimes not so wise. I know. Um, but what would you say to Sophia if she said, you know, look, mom, you know, she's in her, she's in her twenties. She says, look, mom, I want to make a sex tape. That's well, what she I probably won't be saying that. She'll be like, <laughs> I, learned from I you. had to try it. Yeah. And then I'll be like, oh, you already did it. So I'm going to just say, make sure you know what you're doing with it. Because if you know, I'll be like, this is what happened to me as your mom. It's like mommy talk. It's the birds and the bees. And so you just share, look, I learned this from it. I hope you don't do that. I mean, read celebrity sex tape. Yeah. <laughs> Learn some lessons from Valen Opal. But that's, I mean, that's really all I can say. Like my mom, she used to like shove some things down my throat. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. So I just want to say it in an everyday way and hopefully she'll reside back to good values eventually. <laughs> right. You know, and, and speaking of, of kind of just letting her do her own thing, I mean, we have, we see it, we see it with the Kardashians. I mean, Kris Jenner was, instead of saying, be careful, it was like, go do it and then go sell it, right? Um, um, what do you yes. see, like, I, I mean, kind of in layman's terms, but. Because well, she's probably like trying to be like, look, here's the negative, let's do something with this. And right. I think that's, in my own situation, that's kind of where I had to come from. It was like. You can't just be in despair all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think my mom also taught me that when she was there for me 
with what I was d going through. Maybe that's like the mom thing to do. Or like, all right, let's be proactive. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's so weird. Do you think that it's strange or how do you feel about Kim Kardashian, how she's risen to such a great, I mean, she's one of the most famous people in the world now. And, and a lot of that mm -hmm. came from the sex tape. How are you feeling about that? I mean, I just say I'm glad and good for the journey that she took after that. Yeah. You is know? that is that something that you see yourself? Do you, would you want to rise to that type of fame? Like, would you? I have a different future for mm -hmm. myself, and I think you know, there's a Kim Kardashian, there's a Farrah Abraham, there's a Jenna Jameson. There's we all have our own past, and however we get there, from the TV shows we go on to our life experiences, it's how we live it. And I think each of us are doing it in the right way for where we want to be. Would you say, are you still ashamed of, of your sex tape? Or what? how are you feeling about that today? Today, I feel like I am not ashamed. I'm very, you know, I, it used to be something very regretful. Right. And I feel like we can't really regret all of our past experiences, good or bad, because it's helped us, you know, be who we are becoming. Mm -hmm. And I think as we all get older, we get better and better, and we learn from those lessons, and we're happy about that. And mm -hmm. we find something amazing, hopefully marriage. Yeah. and. So that's something exciting I'm even looking forward to.